Welcome to Graphic Element, where you can explore your imagination. Hello guys, welcome again to another Graphic Element how to tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be showing you how to make a double exposure effect using Photoshop CS6. So what we want to do is select to image because we're going to be using both. It is a double exposure, obviously. So the image I have selected is this one. Make sure that your image is high contrast because we are going to be um, playing with the image. We're going to be enhancing the image, which will affect the quality. So if you have a high contrast image, it's better. So what we want to do is first is obviously erase the background because we don't really need the background. We just need the face of the guy, the portrait. So just click on your eraser tool right here and initiate to erase the background because we won't really need that you're gonna have something like this and now what we want to do is convert this image to a black and white image so we'll go over here in this little icon over here <coughs> apologize and click on black and white and there you go we've um, changed it, converted the image to black and white, desaturated it. And that's all we actually really need, but I want a better effect. I want the effect to be really good. So we're gonna click on default and choose present contrast blue filter. But the image is too dark though. So we're gonna play with the reds and yellow here and lighten up the image. And there you go, this is gonna help us for this image to be seen through the um, other image. So what we're gonna do now is select our second image. And there you go, my second image is this one. Now we don't really need the whole image. We just need the face of the man, of the guy, the, the area which the face of the man is within. So we're gonna select, select our first image. And Within this image, we're going to delete the necessary parts like we've done on the first image. So we're going to select our layer of the first image, click on control, and click on the thumbnail. So what we're going to do, we're going to select the image, click on control, and click on the thumbnail. And we're gonna go to our second image click on the layer of the second image now what we want to do is delete the outer layer so we're gonna go on select and inverse which helped us to select the other layer which is not necessary so after that you just click delete on your keyboard and you can see the outer layer is gone the area which is not required there you go now we want to make sure that we can see this image through this image. So we're gonna play with the blend mode of this image and we're gonna change from normal to multiple. <coughs> Sorry. And you can see the, you can tell that you can already see the guy's face a little bit. Um, you can see the t-shirt and so. And so therefore we're gonna continue playing it and we're gonna change the filter to about, you know, until you're satisfied actually but make sure that yeah and there you go you can see the guy's face but we want to make it even better we want to enhance this so we're gonna duplicate a first image and just move above the second image but we also want to change the blend mode to multiple and change the filter to about 90 degrees and there you go and just like that we are done with accomplished what we wanted you can still see the street the store near it, the buildings and you can still see the guy's face as well you can see the, his eyebrows his wrinkled forehead his nose his mouth you know so yeah that's all
tune in to our website make sure you guys check our website where we'll be um updating about stuff that we'll be doing like we'll, we might have an app video series coming soon and make sure you like us on facebook as well because we also upload our videos there and a few designs which we don't have any video for thank you for watching i'm your man sebastio and i'll see you guys next time